starting this off with the title screen of this because of what we did in the last video and what I'm going to do in this video which is for one thing what we did in the last video double checking if the audio is working it is we have done a lot we have done some side quests by some I mean only like two or three I don't remember how many side quests for sure I think it was only one actually we did some explorations oh yeah we found a lot of strengths that was what it was which led up to a side quest being completed it's me trying to remember all that we did because it was a big exploration in the bottom right side this was important. I forgot why. Oh, that was why. I was remembering that we got the Horn of Feroz. Sometimes I wish it was... Sometimes I would wish it was a different name. Let's just be honest with that one. Tufts Mountain we have to remember for later because that one is what I can remember it being the Trial Mountain. But it's also the most interesting place to go. But I also think it's where... I don't really know for sure. It's also where I think we need to go for one thing. This was, this was useful for something because there's going to be some slabs somewhere around there. And this is even tied. We already have gone there. We could do the gliding minigame, but I don't really feel like it. And then found some unique boss-like enemies. One over here, which was a Hinox that we fought. A Lionel over there. Got the Shard of Ferocious Horn, which we need two of in order to finally upgrade our champion's tunic. I think this will be important for later. I don't know for certain. And then... That's mainly it. And what I'm doing back at the central tower is what we're doing in this video. We're doing a shrine quest and we are doing a... Well, mainly we're doing a shrine quest and EX quests. Not any of these. But we are doing these four. The mask, the teleportation, the ancient mask, in the Twilight Relic. I don't know what the Twilight, what the what any of these do because I've never done DLC quests ever. Woodland Stable is where we need to go for the Super Rumor Mill for this one, but we already well no we haven't done that one either. Rumor has it for this one that it would tell you where a coal rock is, and this one. Allows you to instantly travel to wherever you've placed it. Which is cool. Probably won't even do so, but I don't know. Maybe it's... Maybe it's... Well, it will warp you to wherever you want. Not even at the shrines. But first I'm doing these ruins. I was going to look for the... The... Lake Colomo... I'm gonna cut real quick to see where the lake. Oh, really? Never mind. It was right here. So it's anywhere over here. That's the ruins right there. If anything, there might even be a shrine nearby. Yes, I went to the Omen Owl Shrine, and we already know what that is. We also remembered the final memories before completing the Captured Memories quest. So yeah, we did a lot. But mainly, now we're doing EX quests. Oh. And then a few parts, I'm going to be doing something that will be a complete waste of time to watch, but is, but is optional to watch if you want to see me do certain things. And that is Battle Bosses and play through all of the memory seeds again to show off everything in order 
But this is where we need to go. Surprisingly, I got that first try. This is like Colomo. I have barely came here. I have barely come here. The last time I came here was... I want to say... There's a key screw. I want to say it was when I remembered the next memory. Darn it, I only killed one. Gonna equip some bows that aren't lightning attractors. I'm also gonna have popcorn later, so it's not much. Darn it. No, I replied to that soon. The Colomo Garrison Roses were oh! If this was not the place then I gotta figure out where to where to go. Because this is supposed to be it, because it's the this is the only ruins where like where the lake is. Unless they mean something else. There's the East Post ruins right here. But that's gonna take me forever to find where I need to get this chest. Aha! I freaking knew it. Unless this is not what I'm thinking. Nope, this is it. We found it. Majora's Mask. An eerie mask passed down from ancient times. Wearing it makes it harder for certain enemies to spot you. It's a rather rare find. Really? So this is... This is the X-Treasure Ancient Mask. Oh. I'm picking up that broadsword. Was that what I was supposed to do? Yeah, exchange mask ru ru rumors. Yeah, I think that was it. Yeah, it was. Somehow I thought it was strange mask rumors. Oh, it's a coal rock mask. Okay. <clears throat> so now we're doing Twilight Relic, which is somewhere around Regentia River, which I already know where that is. It is the Sage Temple Ruins, and I'm going to I'm going to warp to a nearby shrine, which is pretty much this one. I swear there should be a stable that has a side quest for us, wanting us to take to find. Are you kidding me? When did that start freezing? It started freezing right when I right when I was about to find that chest. That's when it froze. That's sort of an Insane. Well, now you know that what I found was Majora's Mask, and now you know where to find it. So if you end up no end up wondering where I was for that, that's where I was. Just want to make sure. So I'm going this way. <coughs> Sorry. No, no, what that was. So we're going to the Sage Temple Ruins. Somewhere right around here. We did this before. I forgot about how annoying this was. I'm trying to pass through two... ...hopes at a time, and I hope we don't have to do that again, because that was annoying. If we do have to do that again, don't spoil that one. Unless you feel like it. Ah, oh, screw it. Oh, he died from his from lightning. He actually died from the lightning strike. I've never seen that. So it was on that fearsome foe theme. It didn't. It didn't even need to do that. I already beat that. Yo, why? What? Why is it that every time I see a Yiga member, I want to say Yokai so badly? It's a Yiga warrior, not a Yokai member. My word, Yokai is something else. It's not even from this game, and yet I always I always mess up yokai with Yiga. I guess I would I guess people would get it because it is basically the same like sound the same sounding deal. Not really. I'm trying to make sense of nothing, but it's fine. I did not want to. I did not think that was already out. I cannot tell with spear sometimes. 
So... I did not mean to whistle. Gosh darn it. That was it. I was looking at the camera. This is it, right? I'm going right towards the sage temple ruins. Yeah, this is it. This won't be too bad. I don't know how I've been here before. Maybe I haven't and it's just, it's just marked it, but I don't think I've ever been here before. I don't know how hard this is gonna be unless it was already obvious. Are you serious? No, that's not it. That's a shield. Suddenly me. I thought that was already it. I was gonna say, are you serious? I found it already. But that wasn't it. It'll take me a little bit then. Oh, the Zalfos. Don't wanna shoot bomb arrows and I also don't wanna shoot this bow, I want to shoot the quick shot bow more than anything else. Goodbye. Chess, will this have anything in it? That is weapons more bad. And the worst thing is, it's, the wor it's not as good. Gosh darn it, I'm gonna mark that with a chest. Where? Every time you do that theme, it's always like nothing. Like, makes me think that I, I'm being spotted. Oh, there we go. I was being spotted. It's a silver. Oh my word. Not gonna use the master sword, but I am gonna use something else. Not this. Well, I have two of them. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna use this instead. I can't yet. There we go. Nope, that wasn't it. I might as well hurt myself while killing that guy. Warrior bow, but I don't want it. Because I already have a lot of royal bows. Actually, it is a silver Lazalfos. So maybe it's worth it. I want to see. Because silver enemies drop valuable stuff. So I'm going to drop the... I'm going to drop the Lino bow and see what this has. Attack up plus 11. So then I'm going to drop something for that. Maybe quick shot. Because I don't really want that. So now it's up to figuring out where this chest is. If anything, I've already checked here, but double checking in case I didn't. I found it. No, I didn't. Yes, I did. Oh my word. It was right there. Hands out the beginning. Gosh darn it. Midna's helmet? What is that? I've never seen that before. Looks like the one mid no war would Oh that's why it's a Twilight Princess game. I've never played that game before. Yeah, play sorry for bringing the news, but I didn't play much Zelda before this came out. The only Zelda games I've played were Majora's Mask and the Dimension game, whatever that was called. The Link between it was a link between something I want to say link between realms but I don't think that's what it's called it's a rather rare find Twilight Relic the princess of Twilight whose stories are handed down alongside those of the hero of Twilight Their, her helmet can be found in the temple ruins yeah and I forgot, what did it say about her? 
and it's just and it's just that, and it's a guard up. It's a guard of seven, so it's not much, but it's something. Next, we are going to the woodland stable and finally reading that rumor thing. I know I had it. I know I found that before, but I don't remember where the woodland stable is. I swear I found the woodland stable once, but I gotta figure out where. It's gonna take me a little bit to figure out where it is. Found it! Well, that didn't take long. That's actually pretty funny. Now that I think about it, if I will end up not knowing where the stable is, I should just pin a, pin a stable and see where it is. That's pretty funny that I found it immediately when I said it might take me a while to find, and then it, and then it was right there. Oh, this stable, the one that I've, that I've met. Sort of funny recalling where I've met the... Where I've met certain entities because of how close I am to beating this game. It may, not, it may seem pretty far still, but it's still pretty dang close. If anything, we're greater than three quarters of the way done, but we still have a lot more to go, such as shrines and side quests. That's the only thing keeping me behind. Trying to figure out where the shrines are for the most part. So here, there was this, there was someone I forgot who. But let's read the. First volume of the Super Rumor Mill. We've read the third volume already, but now we're finally reading them in order. The third volume was this ancient horse armor. Tracy here, awake or asleep, my quest for juicy rumors, rumors never rests. Ever. Doesn't anyone gossip in their sleep? I sometimes do. Today, I've got a hot rumor fresh from the mill, that is. Wait for it. An exclusive. And that special topic is the mysterious Korok mask. They say if you pour through, I don't know why I thought that that word was through enough love into an object, a spirit will inhabit it. Something that creepy has gotta just gotta be true. And apparently, this Korok mask really is inhabited by a spirit. If you wear it, it supposedly shakes and makes adorably weird noises every now and then. Hey, listen. Maybe it does that to tell you when friends are nearby and you can't see them. Who knows? Some say the treasure chest containing this mask is hidden in a tree hollow in the forest that makes people lose their way. That is the Lost Woods. Hmm, so, sounds like a tough place to find something. Luckily, word has it that there's a convenient... I... Whatever. I... You can pause. I, I pressed A by accident. So, it's something that is in the Lost Woods somewhere. So it's something I have to use Magnesis for, but that means I have to drop a weapon for it. Worst thing is, that means I might have to possibly drop my wood pick with an axe, and I didn't, didn't use it much, but I was going to use it on crates, and I haven't been because I have a lot of stuff already. It's sort of interesting how hard the beginning of... Tears of the Kingdom is. Because I swear, Tears of the Kingdom has a really hard beginning, but I think you'll get more used to it later on. Just for me, it's pretty complicated for how it starts. Or maybe that's just because I have... I've played it and it's just very complicated to find. I'm only here just to look for a torch. Peeks. Chio. There's always a torch near the near the fire, no matter where. There's always a torch somewhere. Apparently, I am dead wrong. Come on, I thought there was a torch nearby. I am gonna just drop this woodland axe, wood cutter's axe, here. Sort of sucks that you can only buy one of each item. Which is either an apple or a hearty radish. But the hearty radish makes sense, but the apple doesn't. 
RD Truffle. Oh, it wasn't here. Then I guess I'm going in the Lost Woods. Or, if anything, I'm going in a nearby stable where I will most likely find a torch first, and then I will go. But the worst thing is, I will be... It's supposed to be in the Lost Woods somewhere. That's what it's telling you. That it's in the Lost Woods somewhere. That one is actually... That one actually makes sense, unless it's not in the Lost Woods and it's in the Korok Forest. But, I'm certain it's in the Lost Woods somewhere. Okay, so I was just impatient. It was, basically, you have to go through the Lost Woods and find the, find a terrifying tree, terrifying looking tree, and you'll be there. Basically, you need to walk straight from, one, from the torch that it leads you. And then as soon as you find that tree, you find the you find the mask. I was impatient. I was seeing if it was in Korok Forest because I felt like it was gonna be impossible to find, but that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Also, curiosity strikes. Is this rock anything useful? I don't remember. That's why I'm gonna look at it right now. Nope. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, there is. A Royal Claymore. Which has what? Maybe nothing. But I want to see just in case. Oh, play later. So, well, I'm going to drop for that. I still don't know about these blades. I feel like there's still something you need for the elemental weapons, so that's why I've been holding on to them. And the fact that there's still some side quests left, I wanna, that would make me look up if there is any elemental side quests because of the fact that most likely I'm going to just 100% shrines and probably the pictures. I don't, I don't even know how far I am with that, but I am sort of like maybe in the 80% range. What I'm gonna drop is this. I'm hoping it doesn't fall off. It's gonna fall off. Come on! And it's not even useful. Dang it. Well, I'm gonna keep it anyway, because I'm certain I lost that sword. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's just gone. You've gotta be kidding me. Alright, so it was here that we need to go. Is this... So... They went past this tree. And it's supposed to be right here. Are you freaking kidding me? I swear. I thought I went the right way. Korok mask. Man, what the heck? That chest is by far the most confusing one of them all. I guess I could have sworn, I guess I was going in circles, thinking I was going the right way. I kept going all of the wrong ways, and now I finally find it. That sucks. I think many people would be upset with that. I was upset because they said it was easy, and then I couldn't find it, which was an insult, apparently. Because it was right there. That was my least favorite chest by far. Sort of interesting how this makes it harder for enemies to spot me. It makes sense as well. Because the Majora's Mask is supposed to be like the toughest enemy mask in the game. In any game. In Majora's Mask it was the final boss. There were a lot of random final bosses, like, in certain games, there, Ganon was always the final boss, but there were, like, some final bosses that were, so, that was someone that was taking the form of Ganon and basically became Ganon, even though it wasn't really Ganon. 
<sighs> we have one more to do, and where we have to go is the self Akala stable, and I'm gonna. It, it was gonna tell me that I completed the side quest. That was my least favorite chest. If this chest is gonna suck as well, then my word, I might not even, I might not even approach these videos with happiness because of how ridiculous these freaking chests are. And that Korok mask is supposed to be the mask that helps you find Koroks, which I said I wasn't going to 100% because this game is so old and I finally LP it because this was going to be my final LP in YouTube history, but I instead changed my mind about it. So now I'm reading volume two. Tracy here, no matter where I go, my love for rumors inevitably follows. Don't you make it a point to dig up rumors while traveling? In any case, today's topic of discussion is the dream of teleportation. Apparently, there was once an ancient meda medallion that could instantly teleport you to wherever you placed it. What's more, that this wondrous item may still be somewhere out there, just waiting to be scooped up. I must say, it sounds like the perfect item for travelers, adventurers, and rumor lovers alike. I hear it's a I hear the treasure chest containing this tool is located beneath a labyrinth in northeast Akala, which I have to go somewhere pretty far for that. Is it true or just a beautiful dream? I'll let you decide that for yourself, dear dear reader. So I gotta go. Seems like in deep Akala. Or Lomel Labyrinth. Lome, not Lomel. I don't know why I thought it was Lomel. Deep below a labyrinth, it says. Also, what the heck is that? But we are going up there. So it's that Lome Labyrinth. That's gonna be. That's gonna suck because Lome Labyrinth was a place that is a that was technically a maze. So that so finding a chest in there is gonna pretty much suck unless it's in the water. But there's no way it is. It's it's in the below, so that means it's in the in the underneath. But that has that has a lot of guardians in it as well. So it's basically I have to use the rook's protection a lot. At least this time I will actually be able to glide there without any issue because. Before I went there, I had like one and a half wheels of stamina, but now I have three wheels. So there's no way I'll have any issues this time. I even have a golden wheel of stamina just in case. I'm supposed to be in some sort of underground place, but I'm going here first to see if it's something that I have to do. Apparently I can just go up there by updraft. Lomay Labyrinth. You weren't able to go up here before. Guess they permitted it. Now I think about it, it has to be at that shrine. Because it says it was... Because there is an underneath, which is where the barbarian armor is. So it's most likely there that I need to go. It was in the ch it was below, so that means it's somewhere over there. There was a place to go for that. Unless I'm wrong. Yep, I'm not wrong. It's right here. The Rook's protection is up here against Guardians. Yep, 
There we go. I should have just done it twice. And if that wouldn't have been enough, I would have just shot it. Oh, wow. I didn't know that this was in here. So the chest is supposed to be somewhere over here. Found it. That was easy. Unless this isn't it, but there there's no way that's not it. It is. That is it. Travel medallion. This mysterious tool was made using forgotten ancient technology. Place it by opening your pouch and registering your current location as a travel gate. It's that dang good. The coolest thing is, it's a key item. It's not any sort of other item. It's a key item. They had this as a key item at one point. That is nuts. So wherever you feel is important, it just teleports you there immediately when you feel like you have to go back to that certain point. If I had that sooner, I would have been able to warp in certain places that I would wish to go, like one of one of which would be the Molduga fight. Or even battling one of the certain other things. And if you want to know about the certain boss like enemies, I'm not counting guardians, because guardians are for one thing very painful to battle, and for another one they're everywhere, so so it's basically gonna take me forever to fight every one of them. I'm counting Taluses, Hinoxes, Moldugas, and not Yiga because Yiga are hard to find, but the Lynels. So we found everything in this pack. We've completed everything in this pack. So the next thing I'm going to do is an actual side quest, Misko the Great Bandit. Which, I still know where to go, I just gotta pin it first. The Dual Link Peak Stable. Right here, and I have to go to the Big Twin Bridge. It's somewhere on that bridge. Like, not on, but there's a cave nearby that is. And I already know what you get, because I looked up where, where you're supposed to go before. But it's not as hard as I would expect. Maybe it will still be, because I would still not understand. That chest was a little bit easier and a little bit more fun. Because of it being Guardians, and I love Guardians. Love battling Guardians, mainly. That's why I love Guardians. Oh, I love Guardians because they're so fun to beat up. Because they give you good stuff. This is a big twin bridge. So it's somewhere in between that and the little twin bridge. Right there. The big and the small. And there's a tunnel somewhere around there. That leads to where you need to go. Because the side quest says The little twin steps over the little river. My cave rests above that river source. So basically you have to go down here. I guess it's somewhere over there. So if anything, I should go over here. Toto sa and go over there. Because otherwise it would take me forever to find. River source. I get that now. I'm supposed to go over there. Heh, <laughs> the only thing is, I'm pretty sure there's that the apparatus shrines are not done yet, and that's gonna suck. But I'm gonna figure it out anyway. A 
lot of these guys. My word. Might as well get them, even though they're just armored stuff. Hyrule Bass, Tireless Frog, Armored Carp. So not really useless. I thought I thought it was something completely different. Korok! Never got this Korok as well, so that's pretty funny. Come on, go over there. I'm very curious about what happens when you 100% a Koroks. It's something I'll look up for Breath of the Wild. Because I'm pretty sure it will reward you with something. Maybe a Koroks medallion or something. Ow! Dang it. Darn it! Just when it wore off. It's gonna take take forever for the next what for the weather to rip, die down. Really, I was about to jump. Really, I thought that was it. Darn it. So close. A lot of silent shrooms. Here we are. This is where we're supposed to go. The Great Bandit's Cave. Hidden chest over there as well. So let's see what's in all of these chests. First is a luminous stone. Next, <clears throat> needs to go to the Great Bandit. Complete. Sapphire. Sapphire again. I'm just stealing everything. Amber. And I think this one was a diamond or something. Nope, it's a freaking flame blade. Screw that. Oh, we'll get that later. Chest. All oh, right, I can teleport. I'm gonna see what they say about you completing that. And then I'm gonna do a shrine quest. I'm actually gonna do a shrine quest that is not here. <clears throat> I I gotta figure out where it is, but I think I should know. The next video is gonna be another EX quest, and it's gonna be me getting armor and doing two things. I can give you directions. What do you both say? The little twin steps over the little river. My cave rests above that river source. Almost there, just a little bit more. And I'll have the whole thing worked out. Ah. Get out of here, man. That's amazing. You've almost got it figured out. I already solved it. Huh? <laughs> You're lying. Ah. Yeah, definitely lying. Ah. There's no, just no way a rookie like you could solve that puzzle before Dak. Not a chance. Tell this guy to beat it, Dak. Quiet, pretty son. I'm trying to think. I just need a bit more time to solve this. Ha! Huh, they don't believe me. What an idiot. I basically just showed them. It was mean, but I gotta just show them somehow. Oh, yeah. We went there before. Yeah, swamp! I was mean to those people. What did they do to deserve that? Basically, they just shoved me off. That was pretty much a proof positive that they hated me. 
and made them hate me more. I hated them as well, so they so they didn't deserve any mercy. Hmm. So I nailed that side quest. I so much want to figure out what to do here, because I know where to go here, to Tory Mountain. But I want to I want to find the stable to bring the Mountain King too, but I could not find it. But now we're doing a shrine quest. And the shrine quest we're doing is near a beach side. And the beach side that I'm going to is right here. The Como shoreline. That's where I need to go. If it's not there, then it's in another shoreline. I know it's in a shoreline somewhere. And I'm certain it's a, sh it's a Como shoreline. Because it's the reason why I took pictures of those guardians and kept them. And I'll delete them as soon as I complete that side quest. Is this the one where I have to not touch the flowers? Nope. I'm good. Didn't know for sure. You can need it. There's a lake of the horse, god. I hate calling it that so much. Oh. I apparently have never done this. Oh my word, how on earth? Well, I know how to do it. They give you enough time. And I definitely have enough time because of this. Oh my word, that is high up. But I did it. That was a long trip, my word. So now... I was going somewhere, I forgot where. I was going to the shoreline, that was it. Somewhere this way. I'm gonna go a bit this way to go there. And then I'm gonna hitch a ride. This is it. I, this looks very familiar. I haven't even done this yet. And yet. I'm supposed to get. I'm supposed to be here. Somebody, I thought I heard a Yiga. I heard a Yiga, all right. Not even gonna. I give them no mercy. As soon as I heard it, I just gunned it. So I'm supposed to be here. Got them both. Gonna not use this bow anymore. Gonna use a royal bow instead. With quick shot. No, I don't have that anymore. I forgot. What's that? Also, can I shoot these birds? No, there's no way. I'm gonna just see if I can kill them with this bomb. Yep, yep I killed two, but still. Oh, yay! I just got them with two. What is in this chest? Ten arrows. You can never have too much arrows. Too many arrows. Gosh darn it, my grammar sucks! <laughs> 193 arrows, my word. Rock salt, rock salt, amber. We're about to see 
where we need to go. So this shrine quest will be easy to complete. So smooth and ancient. Your skin is so smooth and gorgeous, my little Roscoe. Hmm? Someone's watching us? Oh, my sweet Roscoe. You're so shy, aren't you? Yes, you are. Why not proudly show off your beaming beauty, my darling? You really must come out of your shell. The person watching us looks like he wants something? Maybe he's after... Is he after you? Don't you worry, my sweet Wasco. I would never, ever, ever let you go. I'm head over here heels for my special friend who's been around since ancient times. You're so ancient and special, Roscoe. Yes, you are. Sorry, my sweet Roscoe, but I fibbed a little. The truth is, I want to see guardians. Flying ones, small ones, ones that walk around. I want to see all the guardians in all the world. Not the ones around here that have rusted away either. I want to see fresh and lively guardians. Uh. If I ever do get to see them, I may just have to leave you, my friend. <laughs> How about don't you worry? Getting near a guardian is too dangerous for me. Flying ones, small ones, ones that walk. I'm afraid seeing guardians like that is nothing more than a dream within a dream for me. My sweet Roscoe. Don't you worry, my special friend. I would never, ever, ever let you go. Unless, of course, I find a way to see a flying guardian and a small one and one that walks around. I'll show them to you. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Someone's speaking? You'll show me. A guardian. Hey, you. Could you please not bother my rascal and me? It's not like you can show me a guardian or anything. That image. That's a flying guardian. Wow, I feel alive with terror. A small guardian. Aw, it looks so vicious for its tiny size. Adorable. Yeah, you would say adorable, but look, but look at that awesome circle. That, that I just realized something. That is definitely the Tears of the Kingdom lo logo. That is so funny that I just realized that. Hold on, if you've been able to show me two times that, that was it. <laughs> A walking guardian! I can't believe it! Nothing could be more dangerous. What an exhilaratingly scary sight. Phew, what a joy! Hey you, give me that, that box, okay? I want to look at those images every single day. I can't do that. Oh. You can't? I see. How oh, unfortunate. I guess I'll have to just burn those m images into my imagination. Can I have that orb? Huh? Hmm? Oh, you mean Rasko? Sure, that weird fear thing is all yours. Really, I'm over it. Yeah, I'm all about guardians now. If I close my eyes, I can see them all in my in my imagination. It's glorious. You're, you are the inspiration of my imagination. You really are. Yes, I've been daydreaming while, while recalling those wonderful guardians you showed me. Roscoe thanks you. He was feeling uncomfortable. Someday I will nail that throw. But apparently never. Well apparently that will never happen. Somebody did somebody sh must have nailed that throw. But there we go. That shrine glitch was only easy because I remembered it. I did it on my, I think it was my third time playing this game, so I definitely remember this shrine. And it's supposed to be, if I'm not wrong, a rewarding one. Might be wrong, might be correct. I don't know. Shoka Taton Shrine. It is a pretty hard thing to do if you don't know what you're supposed to do. But I've done it already, so... It's no problem. It was a trial and it was called the modest test of strength. Forgot all about it. I honestly forgot about that. I thought it was going to be a rewarding shrine. 
That was my expectation. Spear and shield. Ha! <laughs> if you had a sword, it would be sword and shield! I have a royal broadsword. I might as well break it. Nailed it. Now, I'm gonna use. I'm not gonna use this. I don't wanna break it. I'm gonna. I feel like breaking this, but I don't wanna any. I don't wanna yet. Well, Claymore. Screw it. Darn it! Wasn't able to. Crap, what the heck? Nailed it. Nailed it. Got it. I really want to know what that is. Tower Unite. I've never heard of it. Shield Plus and Spear Plus. I'll drop. I feel like dropping the Fisherman Shield. It's about time I do that. Guardian Shield Plus. Yeah, so glad I did that. 40 for the Spear Guard. That is good. That is a good one. Not bad. Wait, so it has 15 damage apparently. I thought it had way more than that. Oh, right, 15. Darn it. 10, 15, 20. Now that makes sense. Gosh darn it. I haven't seen a Spirit Plus in a long time. Did I even take a picture of it? I don't even know why, it, why it's escaping me. I don't know if I've ever taken a picture of this yet. Or before, I meant to say. It just escapes me. I don't know. I simply don't know. What does this have? Crack hack. Oh wait a minute. That's actually really good. I have a torch. I might as well drop it because I don't want it. That's a really good sword. Attack up plus 16, 52 damage. Perfected. Almost as good as a master sword. Hey, at least I heal. We finally did it. The shrine quest I've been yearning to do for a long time. Now, the interesting thing is that Rito song, I found the, the plate, I found that thing, but what am I supposed to do about it? That's what will be due for the next video, the Rito song. And I am going to do another video, but it's going to be a two videos in one part for sure, because I'm going to do just something that I won't, that is foreign for you, which is making pop and cool. I'm saying that because for me, it is the 17th of July, and the next video, wait a minute, and this, is that? So, the next video is going to be a shrine, is going to be yet another shrine quest, but the things I'm going to do, what was the EX quests again from Tracy that I have to find? One of them was the ancient horse armor, but what was the next one? Dea Village Ruins. I wonder what the dark armor is going to be. Royal Guard. Riverside Stable. 
So Royal Guard is what I need. The Royal Guard uniform. Which I wonder what the Royal Guard does. Ancient Horse I know, but what does the Royal Guard do? 